could help me, you lazy mutt. It'll do you good to do some work for a change. Huh? Oh. What? Allow me to point out that as a dog, it really is quite difficult for me to get a job. Oh, yeah? You could be a guide dog or an avalanche rescue dog or even do telemarketing. But no, you spend your days reading books hmm? while listening to music. <laughs> you dare to criticize me for reading a comic book while watching TV? Well, bravo, mister. Do as I say and not as I do. And besides, I have a job. Me, I'm a professional dog sitter. Not a professional sponge living off John and Beth. <laughs> Not a professional sponge living off John and Beth. Guilty of being a full-time parasite. a professional dog sitter who can escort me into town. I have an errand to run. But I... Uh... Okay, so what's this trip about? Where are we going? Because I already took my exercise in gym class. Fourth right, second left. Hey, I'm not a GPS. It's a yellow building. Could you please collect that package? Huh? Couldn't you have got it delivered to your place? Cornean Express? Uh, yeah, right, it's for Corneal. All right, be careful. It's very fragile. How do you know that guy? He told me it's fragile and... Okay, okay, never mind. Let's just be on our way. And now, I'd like you to give the package to the person who answers that door. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! That guy was too good! Do you see what he gave me? What kind of scam is this? Ah! It's not a scam, it's a job. I created a delivery service, Corneal Express, and I've already got several customers to satisfy. Each delivery makes money, if the delivery is made on time. What? All we do is ride my scooter and make money? Wild, crazy idea, but... So the faster we go, the more money we make? Interesting. Corneal Express, coming through, out of my way! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, one, two. What's up? Let's start at the beginning. Here is the Code of Ethics for the Perfect Delivery Man. Code of Ethics? Code of Ethics, not the... Oh, forget it now. Let's get started. Lesson number one. Hello, thank you, and goodbye. I didn't say come in. Let's start again. Enter! Where's your package? Where's the hello? You're treating me like a dog. Let's try it again. Hello, it's the Corneal Express. I... No chewing gum. Let's go again. Take your fingers out of your nose. Put that milkshake down. Oh, stop playing about. Oh. Hey. Why do I... <laughs> you know, Bernie, if you follow the code of ethics for the perfect delivery man, the customers will give you tips. A tip? Enter! Hello, sir. Corneal Express at your service. Let me take care of that package for you. And don't worry, we are a professional service. Goodbye now and see you soon. Huh? Very good. So I'll take that. <laughs> Really, it's a pleasure to see someone so polite. <laughs> Rapid, courteous, cheerful. An example of real professionalism that's lacking in today's world. <laughs> Your ethnic code? 
It's tops for tips. A letter for delivery all the way across town? No problem, ma'am. It will instantly become the most important thing in my life. Have a great afternoon. <laughs> that one. I could have ethicsized like crazy. She didn't even give me a tip. Excuse me. <laughs> Please give me back that letter. It was a mistake, and I have changed my mind. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir, but a package collected cannot be opened by anyone but the recipient to whom it is hand-delivered. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll double your bonus if you hand it over right now. Does that work? Uh, I... Uh... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right, enough playing around. Give it to me now. Hey! Ah! That should cool your head. Watch my chops, Bernie. That was a true example of professional ethics. A job well done. Yeah, but I hope I get a triple tip. If not, I'm gonna regret being ethicalastically correct. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Give me that letter. Or you'll end up as flat as a postage stamp. <laughs> Stop that thief! Follow that scooter! Here we go! Let's have a little fun! Craziness! This letter is part of a national conspiracy. If several people are trying to prevent its delivery, it must be of the highest importance. Oh, yeah, so, so we should open it and find out? No! In the name of the Code of Ethics, you can't do that. Huh. Your Code of Ethics is showing interest in me getting a quadruple tip. Oh, ow! Huh. The name of the letter's intended recipient doesn't provide many clues. She's a single woman who just lost her job as a movie theatre usherette. Oh, no. Not him! Go, Bernie, go! Try it! Hello, Central. They smashed our windscreen with our tablet. We're resuming the chase. Straight ahead! What? That's your genius idea? Trust me, Bernie! <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
It's there. Go deliver the letter and let's go home. Give me that letter! What's this all about? Uh, uh, nothing at all, my little bird of paradise. Uh, just give me back that letter. Uh, hello. Thank you. Goodbye and have a good day. My poor Lucy. It's over between us. I was already ashamed of dating you to get free movie tickets and popcorn. But now that you've lost your job, you've nothing left to offer me. So farewell, Raoul! <laughs> yeah, it's not what you think, my kitten. It was a joke, and a ha 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 ha. That's a nasty underhand joke. It's even more nasty and underhand because that creep just found out I won the lottery. Well, I accept your request to separate with pleasure, Raoul. As for you, I cannot thank you enough for your dedication and ethics. <laughs> so I'll have a mega tip? Absolutely. <laughs> It's not me! It's him! <laughs> My mega tip! All that for nothing! Come on, come on, look on the bright side. Because we were honest, we were able to pay for all the damage we caused. Thanks to our code of ethics. <laughs> huh? You know what I'm gonna do with your code of ethics? <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> 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 